Welcome to this video. Thanks for tuning in and sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. If you haven't seen these videos, welcome, welcome back if you have. My intention is unity and oneness and the highest levels of love light. Um, been giving a lot of energy updates. I've been playing a lot with words. Um, I wanna just go into a little bit of a word, um, code word writing and decode what it is that I've been writing that's been um, an activation um, in essence for the DNA. And so I just went right into it. Um, I'm gonna go into part two of this. Um, there's so much I could share in this particular video. First, I want to just say an energy update and then go into a little word flow. So the energy update is we're in a high band width. Oh my gosh. So maybe I'll just go into a little word play. We have activated deeper potentials and to a higher bandwidth, we are playing in a higher band. We are banding with higher frequencies in such a way that our ability to display this information has increased categorically, has categorically increased and raised the scale geometrics. For this geometric pattern that we are creating, this grid space, if you will, this ability to grid, to change the grids, to reconfigure with the new structure of the grids, of the harmonious analytical anal analysis, I'm seeing analyze and protein bonds, and are then also working on a creational aspect and a joint preparation a joint expenditure, if you will, an adventure, a joint, um, so many different words are coming through. Essentially, we're joining up with a bigger scale, uh, more beings, we're uh, moving on up. <laughs> so the schematics have changed and we are in the process of tweaking, if you will, certain elemental combinations that allow us to combine into a higher frequency net. That which it is that we are communicating with is communicating with us in such a resilient display of an architectural stimulant. It is creating a stimulation, a simulation, if you will, allowing us to assimilate the frequencies before we, um, ooh, I'm seeing fly. <laughs> so it's like we're, I'm hearing hosting the space. Oh uh, boy, I'm gonna keep going. We are broadening our horizons, if you will. We are changing the schematic and the events that broaden the horizon on the horizon um, event, eventually expanding into a more colorful array on the horizon as the risen ones, as the horizon. For we are creating within our own right, within our own angliture, within our own dimension, dimensional existence and experiences, a new wave of interacting nodes and reference points that allow us to access our deeper archeology span that is set within our skin suit technology. We reference this quite frequently for many of those that are land-based, if you will, do not understand how to upgrade their model. They do not understand that they are modeling the upgrades. I'm seeing that as a plant words, by the way. I'm seeing us like, kind of like, oh, do we like this shirt? Do we like this upgrade? Do we like the way this feels? And I'm hearing these, there's adjustments that are being made so that we can then move into a different resource. So I'm being guided to talk a little bit about the word codes. What I was writing about, we're resourcing, we're resourcing source codes. So we're utilizing source, we're, re, we're connecting with source again. Whereas before we may have been a little disconnected, right? 
What I was also being shown is that we're resourcing. So we're using the same codes, but we're using them in a different way. When, like when you, um, you know, that's the right word. When you have an old piece of furniture and you make it new, you resource it. <laughs> There's a name for it. <sighs> ah, cool. It so many of us are finding our rhythm, if you will. We are finding that which it is that is rhythmatically displaying itself to us. And we are uh, winking at it from one perspective. We are recognizing as it winks back at us that there is an element and a directive and a directional flow of these energies if we allow ourselves to direct the flow in a most um, fluid and... Uh, I'm just seeing playful way. So the more compassionate we are, the more we're able to interact with these frequencies in a compassionate and fluid-like way. We're using this word play and all of these analogies to create a rhythm. It creates a speed. It creates an aperture. It creates an adjustment in the speed and the rate of which these information units are um, attaching to reality, are activating in our reality, are activating us in reality. For as we listen in this way, we tune in and we see, we see what is being displayed through our own uh, computational system, through our sound, voice, um, animatrix, plays on words, um, I'm seeing anime and the matrix. So where, as I'm sharing these words in this way, it's animating, it's an animation. It allows us to connect within through our vision, through our sound, through our play with these words. So it assists us in essentially um, creating these, ping, these pings. So the words then ping, even though somebody might be listening and only get one ping, that one ping is enough to activate them to a greater potential of what they were, wouldn't have necessarily felt before tuning into these pings. For as we ping off of each other, as we allow ourselves to communicate in these different tones and waves, wavelengths, waves, we then sparkle, we then spackle, we then sprackle, so I'm seeing um, a reference to a grackle, which is a bird. I'm seeing a reference to the sparkles that then spackle certain holes that were in the network. <laughs> Again, playing with this, these words. So essentially we're filling up the holes with light frequency and energy and ahas and um, this higher expression. So, Playing with these frequencies is key. You may feel the desire to dip your toes in the water. For example, the living water that Mother Earth is. I'm just seeing that we sometimes uh, forget that Earth is air, water, land, right? Uh, aether, elements. So I'm being shown like, go and play in the snow and recognize how vast, and I'm seeing snowflakes, recognizing Mother Earth's expression in all things. We're being invited to dip our toes in the waters, the living waters, the living way of communication through all things. So I'm being shown right now water, and I'm being shown how water is in many different forms. And so water is in the form of snow, it's in the form of, of ice, it's in the form of waterfalls, which is not a form, but you get what I'm going. It's a combination of atoms, it's a combination of hydrogen, or excuse me, yeah. Hydrogen and oxygen, it's a combination of bonds, right? It's a combination of elements. And so it's many different things and we're essentially being invited to, um, when we dip our toes into it, we're communicating with it. We're feeling the temperature. We're communicating with our bodies with Mother Earth. And there's a different layer to this. 
I'm hearing dip our toes in the different tonology. So ton tonal, tonal, the tonal, which I believe is the elements that moves in all things. So I'm being guided to play with that. I'm just laughing, you guys, because I know what these things are, but I don't remember them exactly. So I, it's ironic because I was saying you're dipping the toes in the water, you're dipping your tone, you're changing the tone, the tone all, the toe and all. Right, and I'm just being shown a toe is not just a toe, it's connected to the foot, that's connected to the ankle, that's connected to the all of the body. It's not just a toe, right, or just a finger. I'm being shown that, and then I was talking about the shape of water, right, recognizing how connected water is in everything. But the tone all, according to just, I Googled it, um, I love, so it says, a shape, so a, a, a nagual, nagual, a shamanic journey.com. Um, if you guys have ever read Carlos Castaneda, I love those books. It's just been a while since I've read one, but it's basically saying it's a shape shifter. So then that it that's concentrated into a shape is the tonal. So I'm, a, I'm just, I'm not, might not be getting this 100%, but essentially what I'm seeing is the tonal is the shape, and the nagual is the spirit that moves in all things that creates the shape. So, but it's also recognizing that we're not only the shape shifter, we're the ones that are, that are shaping the shape, but then we become the shape as well from one perspective, from one many perspectives. And as we, and then it's also play on words, the tone, which is a frequency and a sound that we then tune into in order to understand what that shape is telling us and this top then this is part of what i talked about in my previous video about synchronicities and symbolism and recognizing the symbolism in all things that it can take on a different tone based on the shape that it is filling the space that it is filling or becoming a part of and i'm being guided to go into flow about that so the toe holds a particular shape in the body and that particular shape has a job and that job is connected to our entire being because it, it, it creates balance. It creates the ability to stabilize. It creates the ability to root, right? It, it creates the ability to stand up and to run and to jump. And it seems like a little piece of the whole, but without it, it changes the entire shape. It, it changes the entire sh uh, ability to shift. So the more we can recognize how connected everything is, we start to try less to, to pick things apart and to recognize that as we pick it apart, we're picking it apart from the whole and recognizing that it's all a part of the puzzle and let's start putting it back together rather than having to, you know, take it in pieces um, so much. And this is can this can be then used to kind of go into a space of recognizing different points of view and different perspectives that are a piece of the whole and recognizing that the way in which we communicate with you, we, our guides, our higher self, right? I'm saying we because I am me that is connected to a collective of beings that are connected to collectives of frequencies, energies, and other beings. We are all connected in this way. We all have connective tissues, per, so to speak, per se. We all are connecting into the tissues of the, I'm hearing the homeopathic way, the homeo sapien, the home base, the path, this is the way. Um, so many different variations recognizing that our differences are actually um, bringing us together in some ways, as long as we can see the way that leads us back to the togetherness that many of us have fallen away from. Let us speak in this way. Let us speak together in this way so that we can convey our different perspectives yet recognize that all of our speech patterns hold certain frequencies. 
the more we can expand in the ways that we communicate, the more abilities that we clarify that which it has, which has been the ways we have communicated in, creates, um, again, I'm seeing a distortion in the field. So I'm gonna do another video following this one where I decode what I wrote about. And essentially we are an anomaly. We are, by us communicating like this, we're an anomaly. We're creating something that hasn't been created before from one perspective, even though it has been in the future. <laughs> it's the way of the future now. <laughs> Um, so earlier in another video, the previous one before this, I would said how difficult it can be when we're having this massive influx of energies to stabilize. And I am in it right now when I'm in this message. And for me, the message is in so many fields of reality that I'm feeling into, so many mes messages that I'm fielding that I'm communicating with, that I'm commingling with, that I'm communicating with in union, that I am becoming one with and tuning into, even though I am a piece of the whole, I'm only a piece of that, I'm seeing it in different pieces from different perspectives in which I can then create an expansive point of view that is broadening the perspective that I may have looked at it from, five minutes ago, broadening the point of view and the perspective that I may have been in division about prior to connecting into, to connecting in with, to then going back and looking within all of the different directional perspectives and pieces of the whole that I have the potential, the potential to connect into the all, into the tone all, into the shapes, that each of those containers holds, that is the space within the connectivity, the connective tissue, the connect you, that connects you into one, into the whole, that is divisible by all, that is now becoming visible to all through the spectrum of light that we are all navigating through, within, as, connecting to, that we are all creating and moving out into this galactic expression that is a cos cos cosmic, cosmonology, cosmetology, cosmetic, <laughs> that is a configuration of a higher deviation, divination, deviation of divination that we may have deviated from before, that now we are going back into, <laughs> you guys, as I'm saying this, I'm hearing five different things. I'm seeing a deviated septum. Or was I hearing it? Both. Hmm. And if you see it in the, in the nose, right, it's now a deviated, but it's, I'm hearing it's a deviated spectrum. So when I say deviate, I always say the letter eight whenever I say anything infinite. I always see the, the so essentially it's a both sides of the coin. We were deviated and divided. We were deviated and pulled off course in a different direction in order to come back to the divination that is now being divinated, like we're seeing the future, right? Divining, meaning you're gathering the future or pro projecting towards so many different variations. But essentially what happens is as we create through this unfolding, right? This letter alchemy that is unfolding. I'm hearing hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm seeing this letter alchemy. I'm seeing fire letters. I'm seeing alchemy, all chem in the me. I'm literally sharing with you guys right now how I'm communicating in flow because it's in everything. Yet it is our responsibility to somehow pull it all through the heart. And then that allows us to divinate the codes in such a way that they represent the way 
that we are now the wave that we are now, not the old ways, but we're utilizing the old ways of communication, <laughs> of connection, because those are the ways of the now that are the combination of both, um, using everything as a resource, not wasting, not wasting anything. So I'm hearing, <laughs> you guys, this is what I'm talking about. I'm hearing Jimmy Buffett. I'm hearing Wasted Away in Margaritaville. I'm seeing Take It with a Grain of Salt. I'm seeing <laughs> Jimmy Buffet. I'm seeing that it's a buffet that we literally have to choose from, that we are creating with and from, that we are utilizing as a resource. And language is one of those things. Language isn't just one linear line. It's a wave. It's a conductivity that moves through all things. That is a sound. It is the tone in all. <laughs> and it is a shape. And then that shape can help us direct where to put the flow. Direct the flow. Oh boy, I'm going to end on that note, you guys. Thank you for playing in this field with me because this is what I'm doing is showing others how to utilize all their resources in their own way. Sometimes um, somebody will watch this and feel like they don't know why they feel more expansive afterwards, but they just do. It doesn't matter if you don't know why. If you just feel good when you listen to something, you know that that's activating us. Sometimes certain words will come through and it'll be an answer to a question that somebody had before they turned on this video. And they might say, oh, well, that reminds me of, not that I'm necessarily answering it through a psychic connection, right? Uh, or an empathic connection, which I talked about in my previous video. We do that too. But oftentimes it's just through synchronicity. And I'm tuning into through my verbiage and my words, the energy field of the others that might be tuning into this video in a future or current date. That's a play in words. A date is a timestamp. A date is something that allows us to focus that energy. So much is coming through. So essentially, by me playing in this way, sometimes these, these words have a letter that is a code, that is a, a mathematical code. They're always a mathematical code, but that essentially keys into the frequency that assists us in dialing up, right? Dialing up into a remembrance of a stream of consciousness or energy frequency bandwidth. I think I could keep going for days on this particular flow. So I'm going to end on that note. Thank you so much for tuning in again, as always. And um, namaste.